are about to meet a man who is testing an artificial pancreas. So a gadget that's doing the job of a pancreas. This could be all new hope for people with diabetes. We'll talk about it coming up. Lee? Well, for those with type 1 diabetes, the promise of an artificial pancreas is a treatment that many have been waiting for and talking about it, and it is becoming closer to reality. So joining us this morning to tell us more about the device is Tom Brobson from JDRF, and Tom actually tests, has been in the this testing process for years now. Um, so Tom, first of all, welcome. Thank you. Uh, you were here. diagnosed with type 1 diabetes uh, as an adult. Yes. And just explain, can you just explain to everybody what that means, type 1 diabetes? So having type 1 is it's an autoimmune disease so like rheumatoid arthritis or Crohn's or celiacs or any number of other uh, autoimmune disorders and so I in this case the immune system revs up and decides uh, sadly that it doesn't like your beta cells and mm. the beta cells in the pancreas are the ones that make insulin and if you don't have insulin you die so type 1's have to give themselves insulin all the time to stay alive. And the insulin is what helps get glucose to your cells. Your cells use that for energy. If not, you get a bunch of glucose in your blood. That's that's exactly right. So insulin is, is the little helper, the little shoehorn that helps to sort of get the energy from circulating in the bloodstream into right. the cells so it can do its job. Okay, so, so your pancreas is not making insulin and typically with diabetics we see they give insulin shots. So explain to us how this artificial pancreas works. And by the way, we should point out it is not on the market yet it's still in testing phase um, but it's getting close it's, it's getting close we're moving JDRF has a plan and we're, we're working hard to move this as, as quick as we can I uh, so you can use shots as you were describing to yes. give yourself insulin but in this case we're working with a, a, a three three devices okay one is an insulin pump and so lots of people know people who have insulin pumps this right. is a very traditional way of, of people with type 1 giving themselves insulin. Another thing is called a continuous glucose sensor and that's actually a little device, a little fiber that's inserted in your skin that continuously gives you information on glucose, hmm. tells you where you are, high, low, okay. Okay. And, and then the thing that was missing up until recently was sort of a, a computer program that could allow these two things to work together and start to automate the system. And now with the hard work that JDRF and millions around the world have done, we've, we now have for the first time this type of product. Okay, and here we're seeing some video right now. So, and, and the, I know the artificial pancreas has gone through um, various changes during the testing phases, but um, so we look at this diagram and there we see, uh, you see a, a sensor to measure your glucose and then um, another pump to put it in and then the computer that Tells uh, tells your body when it needs more insulin, right? It allows them to talk to each other. So, right. The, 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 it the seems kind of simple, Tom. Doesn't it seem like this, this? We should have this on the market today. You know, what's the holdup? On some level, all great ideas are simple, right? Saying that we're going to go to the moon it was a fairly, <laughs> fairly right. It was a great idea, right? right? And JFK said we're going to we're going to do this, and then we're going to get there through a very specific set of things that we did, and we finally got there. And, yeah. and, and so, it's easy to articulate the, the the big vision. It's sometimes hard to, to really execute. So for instance, in 2006, the computer program that would allow these two devices yeah, to talk to each other this looks like. Uh -huh. didn't exist. No one had ever yet taken a computer program to take a real-time data feed from a sensor and help to automate the delivery of insulin from a pump. So we had to start investing in the scientists and the researchers who could help to make this come true. Okay, right. right. But a really interesting sort of thing of note, right? In 2007, I started doing these trials. I did them in 2009, 2010. Smartphones didn't exist yet. That's true. When I began this, these trials, the iPhone hadn't yet come to market. Huh. So now here I am with all of this on a little pocket computer, a smartphone. Right. I guess that. And I can slip it in my pocket. So another way the iPhone it's has should changed be simple, our life. but we have to wait for technology and we have to drive technology, and that's what we're doing. All right. And are you wearing an artificial pancreas now? So I have all the pieces of it on my body right this minute. I have okay. a sensor on the back of my arm. I have a, a, a insulin pump on my leg, um, and I've got this this pocket computer. But it is not live right now. This okay. is this is running simulation. I love you guys, but but I'm not going to be live running this thing right this minute. So it's uh, it's in a simulation mode. It goes well, live when I'm in a test. Thank you for coming in and sharing with us really interesting technology. We'll put a link to JDRF on our website. You can read more about it. We'll be back.